I want to show you how you can use a project accounting module within Dynamics GP to manage a job cost business. So let's take a look at it. What I did is set up a simple job to create a promotional watch. So what I'm going to have in this job is I'm going to have three things. I'm going to have the inventory that I'm going to use to create the watch. I'm also going to track labor and other expenses that go into producing this job, producing this set of watches. I'm also going to have a billing schedule and we'll take a look at that. So what I did is I set up this project to be a fixed price project and all the accounting is going to be done after the project's completed. If I wanted to I could have accrued revenue recognized on a regular basis throughout the project if I wanted to do that but this is going to be a simple job it's going to be done relatively quickly so I, ha I chose a completed accounting method to for this particular job. So let's take a look at the job there's a couple components. Look at, let's look at the fees first. Here are my fees. This is going to be a $50,000 billing to my client and I've already set up a schedule for that and you can see I've got three billings scheduled for that on the fourth and the fifth and the sixth period and actually on this particular job I've already invoiced the client for this. So that's my main billing for this particular job. I wanted to make it simple and you can see down here I've got running statistics on this particular project. I've got cost to date, I've got the billings to date that we just looked at. Also I'm tracking receipts down to the project level and you can see that this particular customer on this project has already paid $15,000. So let's take a look at the cost of this project. If we go into the budget piece right here, I've got different cost categories and cost categories are set up to track different types of expenses into a particular project. I can track timesheets, I can track inventory, I can track purchase orders, I can also track miscellaneous items if I want to. What I did on this particular project is I'm going to track three different labor areas. You can see those here, design, management, and review. I'm also going to track some office supplies and then components. Let's take a look at the components. In this case, the components are the inventory items I'm going to purchase and then use within my project to create the promotional watches. I set those up here and you can see I've got different items here. I've got about five different items. I've got the quantity specified. It's looking at the unit cost from my inventory. And these are the items that I'm going to use to incorporate into my promotional watches. And then I also have timesheet areas. I've got design, management, and review. Let's take a look at one of them here. I'll go into design here and in project accounting I can track three levels of expenses. I can track the baseline here which is the baseline budget. I can track the forecast and I can change that forecast throughout the project if I want to and then I can track the actual. Let's take a look at this particular item. Here I want to track timesheet data for design. Anybody that's doing design work on this particular project, I'm going to have them enter a timesheet. It's going to charge it to this project and to this cost category, and it will be tracked here. You can see here we actually have some actual timesheets that have already been posted into this particular project. I can click on actual here. It's going to show me these timesheets here. I can expand this grid a little bit and get additional information. Here you can see I've got different employees tracking time into this particular project. If I want to, I can select a particular item. I can drill back and see the entire timesheet for this particular employee. So this is a pretty easy set setup for project accounting to just focus on job costs. I can get a lot more detail if I wanted to. I can make it more sophisticated if I wanted to. But I just wanted to take a simple look at it. Again, if we look just at the project, I can track revenue here and expenses. Now let's take a look at some of the reporting that's available out of the box. There are a number of standard reports that come with the project accounting module in GP. And you can see those reports listed here. But let's take a look at one that I particularly like. Here it is here. Let's start it up. And what this report will do is for any particular project or a group of projects or all projects, it'll show you basically how the projects are doing at this point in time. And you can see I've got information here about the fees generated on this particular project. I've got profits here. You can see also the cost totally incurred here. I'm also tracking forecast information as well. So this is a typical report that's available out of the box. There are a number of them and really what you should do is take a report that you like and then we can modify it and you can modify it as well to get the information exactly how you want it. 
This was a simple example of how you can use project accounting within Dynamics GP to manage a job cost business. Now there are probably other ways to do that within Dynamics GP and project accounting is a pretty sophisticated module but here I showed you a simple use of it and how you might be able to use it within your business.